Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So I know that many of us are starting a term or beginning the academic year if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and getting to know our students for the first time. So this week I'm going to be talking about five different mathematics get to know you activities to get to know your students a little bit better. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm going to be talking about five get to know your activities using mathematics so that you can get to know your students a little bit better. And the first one is to create a human bar chart. So this is something that I love to do with adults as well. So I might have a few different categories like your favorite pets, for example, and students have to line up and choose their favorite pet and that creates a human bar chart. Or maybe it's their favorite subject. So looking at categorical data and creating a human bar chart from that. And this can actually lead into looking at sphere rank, if you're teaching statistics, AP statistics, or if you're teaching the IB diploma mathematics courses. So it can really lend itself to some rich discussion and looking at ranking, and it can really give you lots of information about your students. So the second get to know you activity is to create a Venn diagram. And this could just be either graphically on a piece of paper or on the vertical surfaces around your room, or it could be a human uh, Venn diagram. I like to use a lot of movement in class. I think it's important that students are not just sat there for an hour when they come to your class. So you could create a human life Venn diagram. And maybe it's to do with their electives. What subjects did they choose? So uh, who were the students that took biology? Who are the students that take economics? And then who were the students that actually take both those subjects? My third get to know you game using mathematics is human bingo. And this can be applied to any subject area. But we could, let's say, have a three by three grid and you've got nine different prompts find somebody who loves algebra, <laughs> find somebody who loves geometry, or find somebody who loves uh, the creating problem solving process. So different prompts that we can put, uh, human bingo. The fourth get to know your mathematics game is like an identity card. So who are you as a mathematics learner and problem solver? And you could have a few prompts and questions like, I enjoy problem solving because um, the area that I would really like to develop in mathematics is, my mathematics learning is, uh, what I enjoy most is, and um, then they can probably think, pair, and share uh, with another person in the class, their identity cards, or you can post their mathematics learner identity cards displayed on the classroom wall so that everybody can see who everybody is as a mathematics learner. And my fifth get to know you gain mathematics is just using a die. Uh, so throw a die, and let's say the number five comes up. You have to tell a partner or a group of three, five facts about you. Throw the die again, the next person, if the number comes up two, they have to share three facts about themselves so that they kind of have this discussion in small groups and get to know each other. And, and we can just be walking around eavesdropping on uh, the conversations. Now I have a bonus get to know you activity. So this is the bonus one in mathematics. Ask each student to write down their five favorite numbers or five numbers that have some kind of significance in their life. So write down five numbers that are important to them. So for example, one of my numbers would be 13. Even though 13 is seen as an unlucky number in many cultures, for me, 13's always been a very lucky number. I was born on the 13th and it's always been my lucky number. So ask your students to write down five numbers that are significant to them and then to go around and, and share with different partners and different groups or small groups. So I hope that you found those five plus one bonus, get to know you mathematics games useful. If you have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section below. Uh, I think it's so important that we get to know our students as learners, as who they are as people and humans. 
because they are going to be in your lessons for a whole year. And we want to try and engage and motivate them as much as possible. So thank you so much for joining me again this week. And I hope to see you next time.